progress and unification. Let me adopt all the well-established protocol. I have members of my cabinet here. I acknowledge each and every one of you. I acknowledge my very good brother, Dr. Festus Michena. I acknowledge the most brand new, distinguished, re-elected Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes, re-elected and brand new again. That is going back to the Red Chamber. I acknowledge all of the aces, the traditional rulers that we have on both sides. I acknowledge uh, the Hoanese President for Lagos, Chief Osai. Thank you very much. Yes, I acknowledge my very good friend and brother, Ndiman, all of you, the leaders, all of you, do the market leaders, traditional rulers, all of you that are here, women leaders, and I acknowledge very, very warmly all of you that are well seated here this evening. My heart is in each and every one of you. Our beautiful ladies in blue, our gorgeous ladies in green, our distinguished ladies in orange, our outstanding ladies in red, the very popular ladies in purple. I don't Thank you, my God. I'm indeed very happy that you can regroup yourself again and even come back bigger, better, and greater. <laughs> Incidents of last week Thursday are things that we want to divide us as a state, but we will not allow it to happen. Amen. So we need to very quickly move on. But we are souls are with the families that lost their loved ones. And so today, coming here, I feel truly, truly proud as a Nigerian. I see Thank you, my God. unity in our diversity. And like what our national anthem always say, that though tribe and tongue may differ, for a brotherhood will stand. Which was the old one. We can see that what stands us out is the fact that that our country bone is still strong in all of us. Even if I don't understand all of the Igbo languages, but I understand and appreciate the culture, the heritage. And when they were breaking the Kona I also have to say that I know how the protocol of the Kona law, how it works. It's a reflection of having understood what our, our diversity and understanding and appreciating that in that diversity, there is unity and there is sense of purpose and direction. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank the various groups, because there are so many groups here. The various groups that have come, religious groups, traditional groups, town unions, all of you, youth groups, women group, men group, traditional rulers group, all of you that have true power. Because the crowd that is outside is more than the ones that are here. I want to thank all of you. Because it is pure love. I have four. I love you too. I love you too. It is pure love. I have come to demonstrate here. No matter who you are in life, you can never be perfect. No matter how you think you'll be, you can never be perfect. It's only God Almighty that is perfect. But we need to thank that God, that God Almighty that has preserved all of us, that has brought each and every one of us here. And we know too well that after this event, we will all get to peacefully and graciously. I need to thank, because the leadership has shown that they can work together. 
from G50. G50 started like a baby of necessity. And it has grown to become a big Iroko tree. Uh, if you have pure heart, and if you have a common conviction, the sky, they say, will be the limit. My brother and friend, first off, thank you very much. Thank you because you have not done it alone. You have done it with so many people that have worked with you and have stood with you. And I want to thank all of you. I want to, I've known some of you for 20, 30 years. It's not today. But I want to thank all of you. I want to humbly say that the love that you have shown here today is overwhelming. It's actually humbling. It just said to me that I need to do, look for energy to do a lot more work for all of you. I assure you that with every energy that I have, negotiators have not seen enough. We will ensure that we build this state, we build this city even bigger, better than what it is now. I want to warmly accept all of the acknowledgements, so all of the endorsements you have given my humble self and my deputy here today. And I say that we take it very, very seriously. We appreciate it, we have not taken it for granted, and we say that indeed, what you have done for us, we can only but reciprocate by ensuring that we have a purposeful and good governance that is devolved of any form of ethnicity, that is devolved of tribalism, that is devolved of religious preference and sentiment. And let us know that the best is yet to come. The greatest good is for the greatest number. We will continue to ensure that we remain peaceful, cohabiting ourselves and providing opportunity for each and every of our citizens. I want to thank you from the depth of my heart. And as you have come here today, the only way we can confirm and we can see the sincerity of all of our hearts is the numbers that will troop out on Saturday. And I'm believing, I'm believing, I'm believing, I'm believing that with the population and our seniors, with all the beautiful faces and the handsome faces that I've seen here, I know too well that you are just a small part of a bigger number that is outside there. So the message is really for them that are outside there, that you have seen, you have heard, you have been committed that Mr. Governor, your friend, your brother, will indeed ensure that once he comes in, Lagos, Lagos, will indeed go on a rising scale that will pick the pace for each and every one of us. I want to say that God Almighty will reward you all. That God Almighty will bless your, your, your families and yourself. And that the sky is the limit for us. No matter what the challenge of this country is, we will overcome it. No matter what the issues of this country is, we will overcome it. Because we are overcomers. At the end of the day, this country will not fail us. This country will work for all of us. And this stage too will not fail us. Thank you very, very much. I feel humble, I feel happy, I feel excited with what you have done for me today. God bless you all. I love you all. And I give you the Lord.